What's going on guys and welcome to Who to Sign For. Now in this series I'm giving you my recommendations on what players to sign for a specific team in career mode but before we go on I will say that the signings you'll see aren't designed to be realistic and that the player ratings and potentials of the players may vary depending on what database you're using and how they perform for you during the season. Obviously you don't have to follow all the tips this is really just a set of guidelines for those of you out there who are new to the game, stuck for ideas or just want some suggestions on what players you could sign for a specific team in career mode. So today's team in who to sign for is Bayern Munich. Yes, the German giants Bayern Munich from the Allianz Arena. Now, this is going to be an interesting who to sign for because when I do these series, it's all about giving tips for the teams and what players to bring in. But with Bayern Munich, they're considered one of the best sides in the world. They have a transfer budget of £57.5 million pounds, or there or thereabouts, depending on whether you have boosts or not and whether you play preseason tournaments. And as they're one of the best sides in the world, they're the best side in Germany. You look at the team they have right now in the squad report, it's a really, really awesome team. And the objectives you have with Bayern Munich are to win all three trophies you'll be going for, which are the Deutsche, uh, the Deutsche Pokal, uh, the German Cup, I can't pronounce it properly, the Bundesliga as well, and also the Champions League too. And with Bayern Munich squad, with an absolutely world-class team, you're able to do that in the first season without really needing to make any major signings, despite having £57.5 million. But my job in this series is to try and improve the side in some way. So as you look at the squad right now, you'll see how the squad is set up as well for you when you enter the game. It's an absolutely awesome team with some young talent, some really experienced players that are very good as well, and just in general, some world-class players out there. So for players to sign for this Bayern Munich side, what you would want to spend your money on, who you would want to spend your money on, this was going to be a bit of an interesting challenge for me. You can see the contracts, so we'll discuss that uh, right off the bat. Contracts here as well. You've got a couple of players who you may want to give contracts to as their contracts are at the end of the year. Xabi Alonso, the most notable one, but personally speaking, I would say that Kierke and Alonso are the only two you should consider there. Alonso, maybe you want to sell him. He's in his early to mid-30s now, maybe worth selling. Kierkoff, not too bad as a 24-year-old, but only grows to a 78, I think it is. So maybe worth selling him on in the summer or in January. So the contracts, not too big of a deal for buying. No major ones that are having their contracts down who you really need to keep hold of. Again, Alonso possibly, but it all depends on whether you want to keep using him or not or sell him as he will start to decrease in the first season. But with signings for Bayern Munich, who are you going to sign? Well, as I said before, it's going to be an interesting challenge for me for Bayern. I wanted to try and better the side in some way, but the first 11 is totally fine, and that's the take home point of this who to sign for with Bayern Munich. If you are doing a Bayern Munich career mode, the first 11 is fine. The first 11 is totally fine. You don't need to change that, but you may notice that the bench and the reserves, you may be lacking a little bit of world class depth for the future in terms of players that could be good enough in the future to be world class, I should say. So you may be lacking a certain players who you know that are going to be long term replacements for players like Robben, Ribery, etc., etc. And my number one target for Bayern. Bayern Munich. My number one target for a Bayern Munich career mode would be this guy right here, Antoine Griezmann of Atletico Madrid. 83 overall, 24 years old. I know I'll sign him in a couple more who to sign for for PSG and Spurs, but Griezmann would be an amazing signing because as you can see, we get him for £27.5 million. That will leave you with £30 million left over. Griezmann is the ideal backup striker for Lewandowski, and the reason being is quite simple. He's 83 overall, so he'll go on the bench. He won't be in the first team. Lewandowski, if he doesn't perform for you, this guy will be good enough to replace him straight away and put Lewandowski on the bench and Griezmann can play left wing and CAM as well it's always good to have a versatile type of player him being on the bench as a backup striker for Lewandowski is an absolutely fantastic sign at 27.5 million pounds when you consider the fact that he does have the potential as well to hit 89 overall so if you want to play two up top you've got Lewandowski and Griezmann together if you want Griezmann off the bench he's a perfect long term replacement for the Polish striker or just as a bench player an impact sub if you will he would be an absolutely fantastic sign for Bayern Munich and again it gives you squad depth because the one thing you may have noted with Bayern Munich is that they've actually only got two out-and-out -out strikers, Lewandowski and Kingsley Komen. You could, of course, play Muller there if you want, but I'd actually rather keep him in the deeper role, the CF slash CAM role, and just look to bring in a backup striker instead. Komen is a decent young talent, but starts off at around 71, 72 overall. So would you have much faith in him playing as your out-and-out -out striker if Lewandowski got a serious injury or something? I don't really know. Personally speaking, I'd just bring in a backup striker whilst you've got that money. Griezmann, 89 potential, 84 free starting overall. 27.5 million pounds, you're not going to say no to that as an understudy for the Polish striker. Still falling out, I'd also bring in this guy as well, Danny Carvajal. Now, I know I've signed him in a few who the sign for us already, but it's because he's one of the best right backs you can buy to start the game off with. 81 overall, 85 potential. You can get him for around 12 million pounds plus Rafinha. Now, you may not want to swap out Rafinha like we did, the Brazilian right back who's been at Bayern since 2011, I think it is. You may not want to swap him out. You may rather keep him here, but the way you've got to look at 
is this. If you plan on using Lam as your right back this season and not as a central midfielder, then Carver Howe would be a backup player and Rafinha, if you kept him here, would be third choice on 60 grand a week and he's 28 years old. I think he's 28 years old or possibly 29 going into 30 thinking about it. But Rafinha, regardless, he's a player who will be a third choice right back on 60 grand a week. You don't need him if you sign Danny Carver Howe. So personally speaking, I'd swap him to Real Madrid. They will probably be interested in him. You can lower the transfer fee. 12 million pounds for Carver Howe plus Rafinha, in my opinion, is a really, really good deal when you consider the fact he starts off at 81 overall, free ratings higher than Rafinha, and also has 85 potential. He is the perfect long-term replacement for Philippe Lam if you are using him in the right-back role this season. So those would be the uh, two main signings I'd look for Bayern Munich. And once you've done that, you'll still be left with around £20 million to work with or around that amount, depending on what uh, deals you've completed right now. But for me, personally speaking, for other players to sign for Bayern, once you've added those two players that are really good already but could also play on the bench as well, I'd just increase the squad depth, but most importantly, look for young talent with Bayern Munich. Try and sign some youngsters who have got loads of good young talent. Help yourself some young German talent, basically, and bring in a few players that have got really good potential for the future and see how they would do. As you can see, the three players we're looking at here are Brandt, Sane, and Timo Werner as well. All three of these players are young. They're all teenagers. They're all German, and they've got very decent potential. Julian Brandt has 88 potential. Uh, Leroy Sane has 85 potential, and Timo Werner has 84 potential. Now, if you can complete these signings for around £15 million for all three of them, uh, you may have to spend a little bit more than that, depending on how lucky you are with the transfers you're negotiating with the clubs. As you can see, Bayer Leverkusen were really reluctant to get rid of Brandt. Not a real surprise with 88 potential. But anyway, if you can get in these three players for around £15 million for, for all three of them, you're spending on average around £5 million for each one of them. I would say that these would be really, really good signings because you've got to look at the potential these players have right here. 88, 85 and 84 for Brandt, Sane and Werner respectively. Those are really, really good potentials and these are long-term replacements for certain players like Robben and Ribery. These are the type of players who you really know that are going to develop in the future and do really well for you. Even if you don't get too much game time right from the beginning, you can loan them out, you can put them on two-year loans if you want because with Bayern, they've got some decent talent here anyway but getting more young German talent or getting more talent from the country your club is in is, in my opinion, always pretty fun seeing how they can develop for you in the future. They're long-term replacements for those experienced players. Like I said, Ribery and Robin, for example, really, really good young replacements here. And again, when you're spending around £15 million pounds for all three of them, it's not too expensive. And when you've got the money left over with not enough to sign a massive headline player, you may as well bring in young German talent as opposed to just random arbitrary signings. These players are guys you can develop for the future. The training feature, you can abuse it if you want. They're all really talented players with good potential. In my opinion, if you're spending around £15 million pounds for all three, I don't think you'd be saying no to that when you consider how good they could be in the future. So those are the stats of these players right here. Timo Werner comes in. You also get Julian Brandt and Leroy Sainz. Sane as well. Sane, I think, is a really popular uh, choice in this year's career mode. Not a real surprise. The Schalke man is uh, looking really good early on in his career. So all three of these players, in my opinion, will be great signings. Again, long-term replacements for Ribéry and Robben. You don't really need to go all out in this Bayern Munich career mode. You don't have to sign massive, big signings like Pogba and Royce and those sort of players. Just bring in a couple of players for long-term replacements for those aging players. That's all you really need to do. Uh, also, as well, for selling players here at Bayern, personally speaking, I wouldn't look to sell anyone really other than this guy, Tom Stark who is 34 years old, 76 overall, a backup goalkeeper at Bayern, who I do believe is on around 50 grand a week, who you don't really need. He's in the final year of his contract. You're probably going to release him. So if you can sell him for around his valuation, we got him to Herder Berlin for 2.2 million pounds. That's 300 grand less than his valuation. You're freeing up some wage base. You don't need him. Personally speaking, he's a bit of a waste of wages here, and you may as well look to sell him. And if you do look to sell him, then I'd recommend bringing in this guy as a third choice goalkeeper if you want to. Now, for me, I like to have three goalkeepers in my side usually two good safe pair of hands and then one young goalkeeper to develop for the future of course Bayern have just signed Olerich and therefore he's on the bench and you can't sell him he's your sort of backup goalkeeper if you will but if you want a third choice goalkeeper like I look for some people just prefer to have two and that's fine but if you want a third choice goalkeeper this guy would be absolutely fantastic Drakowski I think is how you pronounce his name this guy starts off as a 71 overall you spend around three million pounds to get hold of the guy but the Polish goalkeeper is 18 years old and his potential 
is 86. So he would be absolutely fantastic to grow as a young goalkeeper for the future. Possible long-term replacement for Manuel Neuer, but let's be honest here, he'd rather keep Neuer for as long as possible. But either way, he'll be on relatively low wages, far lower than Stark was anyway. So you're reducing the wage bill with Bayern if you do that. You may be spending a little bit more than Stark, and he is going to be a few ratings lower, but his potential is far higher, 86 overall. He'd be a really, really good understudy for Manuel Neuer. And as a third-choice goalkeeper, possibly loan him out in the first couple of seasons if you want. He would be a great signing. Now, as you can see with Bayern, you may have a little bit of money left over once you completed that signing. And if you're going to sign anyone else, then personally speaking, once again, you don't really need to sign anyone. But if you want some more young German talent, possibly in the centre-back role, a bit more defensive stability there. You know, you've got players like Benatia and Martinez and Boateng. And of course, Bad Stuber as well. If you still want a young centre-back to develop for the future, then Corre Gunter would be a good choice. The Galatasaray man, who was formerly of Borussia Dortmund, interestingly enough, uh, is, I think, also a Turkish descent. Maybe I've got that wrong. I'm not too sure. I think he is. But uh, either way, 21 years old, starts over 70 overall, has the potential to get 10 ratings higher and hit 80. It may not be amazing potential, but he would still be a pretty decent signing. And you're only going to spend around 1.7, 1.8 million pounds on the guy. I think we negotiated a bit of around 1.8 million pounds in total, which isn't that much to spend for a 70 overall uh, centre-back, who, of course, does have the potential to hit 80 and grow 10 ratings. And at 21 years old, he'll be on relatively low wages. He's a really, really, uh, you know, decent young talent for the future. It may, may not be a star in this buying side in years to come, but this is a guy who could be a very valuable squad member for you. Corey Gunter, 21 years old, 70 overall, has potential to 80. I think for around 1.7, 1.8 million pounds, in my opinion, would be a really, really good deal. 20 grand a week on a five-year deal as a squad player, it's not really something you're going to snuff your nose at. If you've got the money, you may as well buy him as a bit of good young German talent, as uh, more squad debt for you as well. So you spend around 60 million pounds for these seven players right here. But as you can see, the players you're bringing in all have very solid potential. You've got Griezmann at 89 potential, Carvajal at 85, Brandt at 88, Sane at 85, Werner at 84, Drakowski at 86, and Gunter at 80. So all seven of those players have at least 80 potential. Really, really good signings. And for 60 million pounds, you're spending on average around eight and a half million pounds per player. I mean, that is just absolutely fantastic. And again, with Bayern, I'll reiterate it once again. This first 11, as you'll see, is totally fine. This first 11 is more than capable of winning the Bundesliga, winning the German Cup, and in my opinion as well, winning the Champions League. They are most people's favourites this season to win the Champions League in real life. And the side in the game is good enough to hit all the three of those objectives. So you don't need to worry about the first 11. You just need to look at the ageing players in the side, like Robben, like Ribéry, like Lahm, like Alonso. These are players right here you want long term replacements for and you're buying those replacements in this first season so for a first season with Bayern I mean if you only plan on being here for one or two seasons then yeah sure don't get me wrong feel free to go ahead and buy Royce or Sanchez or Hazard or Pogba or someone like that if you want with all, all your money and just buy one big player if you want but if you're planning on having a long and successful career mode with Bayern Munich where you dominate Germany and dominate Europe look for those long term replacements for the aging players those players that are going to be good enough to replace them and be really really solid for Bayern in years to come and you're doing that with these seven signings so in my opinion really really good signings for 60 million pounds and as you can see as per usual we simulate to the end of the season see how Bayern did and I wasn't surprised to see they won the Bundesliga when it undefeated as well with 94 points from 34 games they won the German Cup as well a little bit lucky doing it on penalties and winning the semi on penalties as well but they still did it and they also won the Champions League as well and got revenge on Chelsea for all those years ago when they were beaten in their own backyard by the English side so winning the Champions League winning the German Cup winning the Bundesliga the fact of the matter is had they not done that I would have considered this a massive failure because this Bayern side is one of the best in the world and you're improving that with the signings you're making it is a superb squad it may be considered an easy team to do a career mode with but if you want some fun and you just want to really dominate in a career mode then Bayern are one of the best choices you can make for picking a team and again with these seven players coming in for around 60 million pounds you're benefiting the side massively for the future and it's going to look really, really good for uh, many years to come. So those are the seven signings I would make for a Bayern Munich career mode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this who to sign for, guys. Uh, obviously, for some people, they'll say it wasn't really much of a challenge, but it was for me to try and think of players who could definitely improve the side in years to come. But I think I did that. If you have any different ideas on how you would do in a Bayern Munich career mode, though, how, uh, what players you would bring in, what players you would sell, then feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to let me know as well what team you want me to do for my next who to sign for, and I'll get on that as soon as possible. I'll probably do an English side again but I don't mind who you want me to do let me know in the comments down below and I'll get some ideas from you guys but thank you for watching this episode of who to sign for guys once again all 
all of these players are just suggestions. And if you have any other ideas on how you would manage Bayern Munich, then feel free to give your tips in the comment section down below. Try and help some people out. And also feel free to give me your ideas what team to do next in my Who to Sign For series. And I'll see what team interests me. And I'll get working on that as soon as possible. But thank you for watching the video though. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's episode of Who to Sign For, then please do leave a like. So it's much appreciated. And really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode in my Who to Sign For series very soon.